Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another news update. It's another one of those, hey, let's uh, check out some of the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse offerings. Gonna have a couple to talk about, a few have kind of waited till we kind of build up enough uh, talking points to make a decent video, you know what I'm saying? As always, for those of you interested, I will have pre-order links down in the description below, depends on when you see this video, they might not be available, yada yada. Also, thanks to YouTube and all that, and thank you for watching, I've been chosen to be part of a new affiliate program with YouTube, so some of those links will automatically pop up so you can click on them for easy ordering. So again, thank you to everyone for watching. So we're gonna jump right into it first and foremost. We got a giant, hulking, Iron Man type Batman figure, right? So this is the Justice Buster. It's kind of like a, a bat in a rhino suit, you know? Amazing Spider-Man 2 a little bit, but Greg Capullo's artwork brought to life looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not something I'm into. I think it looks great. But Batman driving a big old armored war tank uh, doesn't really do much for me. However, McFarlane Toys has been able to capture a giant hulking Justice Buster. Great details. Batman personalization every which way. It's huge. It's menacing. Looks pretty good for a mega figure. So here's everything that it comes with. At first, I was going to say it's a bit of a missed opportunity to not include some extra hands. But if you look closely, the fingers work and move so you can get them in kind of a fisted punchy hand i think if anything some effects maybe the cockpit could have opened and you see batman in there something like that that would have been kind of cool but it comes with a flat black stand and the trading card to boot great weathering great details here he is in the box it's a big giant hulk buster justice buster inside a box that's nice to see for 40 bucks. Very reminiscent of the McFarlane Toys Violator in Malbolgia, right? So pretty cool. So again, if you want them, links down below. Now, heading into the Infinite Crisis, which this one is definitely right up my alley, right? I remember way back when San Diego Comic-Con, Mattel did their version. They gave away a giant plus-sized versions, a couple of them. Didn't get it. But this is the new McFarlane Toys Anti-Monitor. And I think it looks pretty good. All things aside, we'll say maybe a little weathering here and there would have been great, a little painted detail, but for the most part, what I sees, I like. But I like the blues, the yellows. He just looks very comic booky. He very much reminisces me to all those comics that I grew up reading. So I, I love it. Crisis on Infinite Earths Anti Monitor. It comes with a trading card, but again, I'll tell you. This would have been a cool thing to add some Kirby crackles, some fisted hands, something like that in the box for 40 bucks. Because in all honesty, 40 bucks gets you just the figure. Let's get a little bit more oomph going to these things. Come on, McFarlane Toys. I know you can do it. You can put a little something extra in the box. But all those points aside, uh, yes, definitely will be pre-ordering this one. Now, to get into the single figures... <laughs> we're trying our luck at superman again and what do we get uh, no all signs point to no hush superman jim lee no they cannot catch a break with the old superman head portraits right now some good talking points some good aspects of this figure is that he does come with a flight stand i know big whoop but at least there's something he does come with the same droopy s that's where we got to draw the line, peoples. That does not look good. That looks terrible, and they keep re-releasing it. So, no, this is a no for me. Like I said, good talking points, the flight stand. But for that to be the best point, I don't know, right? What are we talking about here? Then you have the S on the back of the cape. Hey, that's great. Nice to see. I'm glad they're finally starting to implement that a whole heck of a lot more. The belt loops are painted red. That's a good thing, too. But largely, it's a pass for me because I don't like the body type for Superman. It doesn't fit him. The droopy S, the head portrait, that's really the big one. He does come with fisted hands. He's come with the outward flying hands. He comes with a flying stand and a sketch card, which I'm going to assume they're going to do a sketch version. They always seem to do that with Jim Lee anything, right? When it's based off his action figures and his artwork. So here he is all packaged up. Superman, hush. It's just not that exciting to me. I think a lot of people are looking for a good Superman, and it might fit your needs. So again, if you like them, totally grab them. And there's links down below. Now, going back to something I definitely dig. We're kind of going back and forth, right? Again, this is one of my favorite covers. Read this issue into the ground. Love it. Still love it. 
And I love the way that this figure looks. So you got classic 90s Tim Drake Robin. Keep in mind, he looks a little bit more armored up, a little bit more McFarland, but I don't mind it. I think it looks good for the most part. I like the head portraits, the greens, the reds, the blacks. They're still giving him that same oversized pole that Tim Drake uses, right? It's too thick. It's like he's carrying around a big lead pipe instead of a baton. You know what I mean? That's kind of like what he carries around. It's thin, not... That is going to kill somebody if he hits somebody with it, right? He's got the yellow on the underside of the cape. That looks great. A lot of people in the comments have been saying he doesn't have a neck. Uh, the red and black one does. So I think it's just a matter of how they're posing him in the photos, right? But again, wait till he's in hand. Maybe they change something, but kind of doubt it. He's got the black on the back for the cape. Looks great. I just overall love this. Between the anti-monitor and now Tim Drake Robin... I'm sold. He comes with a flat black stand. He comes with the oversized weapon. He comes with a battering, which is killer. I totally love that. Maybe a grapnel. That would have been kind of cool to include with this Tim Drake Robin. But again, a fact that on the box, they're calling it Robin Reborn. That's the 90s, right? More of this, please. I say that every video. Again, that's just where I feel most comfortable with DC Comics. That's where I get my nostalgia going. That's where I get my enthusiasm for DC Comics going. So more 90s, more everything. Now, hopefully, we can get a uh, 90s mulleted Nightwing. That would be kind of cool, right? And you, it would be really stellar if we could get an Anarchy figure with a bonus Eclipso head, right? Who wants that? Just me? And you comment down below, which characters would you like to see them tackle from the 1990s, right? Very fun decade of DC Comics. But that will wrap it up for my quick look at some of the new reveals, the new pre-orders that they got going for McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse. Again, if you're interested, links down below, maybe even some on the screen, double check. And as always, you've heard my thoughts, but now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, it's the road to San Diego Comic-Con 2023. I'll be covering the con and everything DC Multiverse that McFarlane has to offer. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.